over 40 years ago, I was cloning stem cells. And uh, one of the first experiments just so blew my mind that it really changed the whole course of my education and my life. I put one stem cell in a culture dish all by itself, and that stem cell divides every 10 to 12 hours. After about a week to 10 days, I have thousands of cells in the Petri dish, but what's most important is all these cells are genetically identical to each other. And then what I did, and this is the experiment, I separated the, a culture of genetically identical cells into three different Petri dishes, and I changed the environment. But the culture medium to cells is like the world that we live in. It's got the air, the water, the food, all the things in it. So I had three different environments, yet genetically identical cells in each dish. And the results uh, revealed that in environment A, the cells form muscle. In environment B, the cells form bone. And in environment C, the cells form fat cells. What was so profoundly important about this is if you ask the question, what is responsible for controlling the fate of the cells? What the experiment clearly revealed was that all the cells were genetically identical. The only thing that was different from one dish to the other dish was the environment. So while at the time I was teaching medical students the conventional story out of the textbook, the concept of genetic determinism, that genes control our fate and our lives, uh, my experiments revealed a completely different story, and that was it was the environment that was primarily responsible in shaping the behavior and genetics.